Hi, I'm Damien Roy, and welcome on my Guitar Lesson YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about what pick to use to play. First pick we're going to talk about is the nylon pick here. So nylon pick is really flexible. Um, it's a polyamid uh, a material pick here, uh, coming out of the oil, oil uh, industry. So this has been um, used a lot for a long time here now. Um, a lot of, um, for example, guitar strummers are going to use it. Also, uh, you could be uh, using that, for example, uh, for playing more traditional music. So you can hear the brushing is much more easier to play with this type of pick here because it's very flexible here. So this one here is like 0.73, uh, it's dimension here, it's thickness here. Um, so that could be pretty good. Um, some other guitar players uh, like using the nylon ones too, but that are uh, really, really thin, like 0.46 for example, or even less. Um, you're going to hear the brushing, of course, if you're playing that. You can hear the the brushing here. So if you're not bothered by that, well, you can use it. But if you're playing something like improvising or playing a theme, it's not going to be the greatest pick here because you're going to hear all the strum um, the strumming of the pick here. So more for brushing. Another. Um, not in pick here we're going to use, this is much more thicker, it's the Jazz 3. It's pretty popular even for metal guitarists or jazz players use it, uh, even mandolin players. <clears throat> so if you're playing something a bit more uh, jazzy, for example, jazz theme like that, this could be pretty cool for uh, shredding um, and playing jazz. Sometimes some people use it not on the sharp part but more on uh, the round part here to get a different uh, different sound. That's the case of the uh, Megadeth guitarist Kiko Lulero, for example, um, who, who's going to play, for example, metal using that, that, that part. So you can try, it's pretty difficult. I've seen in person uh, play it like that. Now let's move on to the Delrin pick here. So um, what is uh, Delrin? Delrin is a polyacetyl um, material here that's really strong, really, really strong. Um, you can find your picks in the snow, like me, for example. Uh, they will survive at minus 10. Uh, you can find them in the washing machine. These picks will survive, definitely. The others will, but they're going to um, be destroyed with time a little bit more faster, I would say. So here I'm using a 0.73 uh, type pick here, and it's pretty flexible here. Uh, there's a good grip on it, but there's probably a coating on it that's going to help me not lose it here. Uh, so same thing, if I'm playing uh, something like um, some chords, from the nine here. You don't hear too much the uh, strumming here. You still hear it, but it's a little bit different. It's also one of the favorite, <clears throat> I think, um, picks. I've seen a lot of blues guitars play um, uh, a lot of different things uh, using this pick here. It's also on the tone and on the playing that 
this one here is going to be pretty popular. It's one of the most popular for playing many musical genres, I believe, here. So this uh, Dalton Pick Point um, 73. Also, uh, you could be playing uh, things like, for example, some funk. <laughs> another musical genre that's pretty popular that where you can use more flop your pick but this one here would work uh, pretty well right away on um, playing all those uh, little um, uh, muted notes here and um, funky rhythm so uh, now let's move on uh, to uh, another uh, type of pick here it's the celluloid uh, type of pick here so the celluloid is uh, cellulose material uh, mixed with nitrocellulose with camphor. Uh, so for example, that's a material that was used uh, when you were going to see the theater a long, long, long time ago before uh, new technology we have. Um, uh, the bands on there, when you were looking at a movie, they were on the rolls there. Um, they could take, uh, they could, um, take fire um, uh, pretty easily because this would burn... Uh, pretty fast. Um, it has a different type of sound here. So this is a cool uh, Viking pick, kick by uh, pick by the way here. Um, but it's uh, 0 0.71, 72, something like that. And the tone is going to be a really different in the playing. So I'm playing here. you're improvising here you're gonna have a different tone so it's also one of the um, favorite picks for um, for guitars it's a very cheap one too to make uh, just like the nylon of course um, and pretty easy uh, the whole. The only problem is that uh, if you have sweaty fingers, uh, you might easily lose it here because of the type of uh, material here. Now let's move on uh, to the um, Delrin here. Another type of Delrin that we've already uh, talked about, but this one here is much more thicker. So this is a polyacetyl. Um, strong uh, pick here this is like point uh, 1.14 I'd say so this is more for playing um, let's say heavier stuff so if you're playing something like more heavier things it's uh, it's a heavy pick that you have to use now, if you listen to the uh, uh, guitarist of Extreme, um, Nuno, for example, um, he uses, uh, I, I've seen him uh, on videos use a nylon pick, so, which is really incredible because um, he's losing speed, I think, on the playing. But he's a great guitarist, so you can't say that he's not playing well, but he's using those type of picks. Very surprising. Um, so here on this uh, Delrin pick here, this is one of my favorites here. Uh, made by Ibanez. Um, this pick here is really, uh, really strong. You can hardly bend it here, as you can see. Um, and this is perfect for playing shred, for playing metal, um, not for, um, not for, for example, uh, funky stuff, blue stuff. I don't really believe. If you want to play uh, uh, like fast runs or. <laughs> Want to play fast runs like that? For example, uh, this is more the uh, the type of pick you're you're going to have to use. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little um, uh, technical review on guitar picks. Uh, of course, this is my point of view. There's many many other types of picks made out of bone, metal, um, and other um, type of uh, crazy materials now.
they don't all sound well and you can't always uh, play super well with it even if it's a new cool uh, trend um, but my best advice here when you're trying picks try a lot of picks and see what suits you the best for um, for playing please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my guitar a lesson YouTube channel and have a good practice.